episode of Billcroft. I've just come back from AFK at the Cooper Farm. Um, I was about to AFK for around about 45 minutes. Let's see how much stuff we've been able to get. Let's just quickly empty out this chest here because I had quite a bit in here. Mainly because I'm AFK and when you're AFK you never know what's going to happen to you. So, okay that's pretty good. Let's get all my tools on my hotbar real quick. And then we're going to see how our quick farm's done. Because, yeah, might as well. <laughs> Got nothing to lose. And I need an arrow because if you don't have arrows you can't shoot a bow. Oh god, that's annoying me. There you go, right. So uh, if we just mine our way out this way, we've got... I wouldn't say it's the nicest AFK uh, thing ever, but... Yeah, it's there. It does the job. So... Let's quickly go see. Like I said, I was AFK for about uh, 45 minutes. And we said we come back, that's not bad. I'll AFK a bit later. But we need quite a bit of gunpowder. And you can see, yes, it is working. Unfortunately, the Cooper Farm not only produces food, but it produces spiders as well. There's no, not a normal way to spawn from spiders, so I'm fine. String's quite difficult to get as well, and it's quite useful. Well, guys, let's head back, and today I'm probably going to add in like a lava river in the Warped Island here. And I've had an epic idea for my race. Eventually, I want a an island for every never buy. So that's obviously Crimson Island. This is the Warped Island here. And I also want one for the Basalt Delta, Soul Sand Valley and probably Never Race. So I've got an island there and an island over there. And I'm gonna make one of them in Basalt Delta, one of them Never Race. No, one of them a Soul Sand Valley. And then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna figure out well, I'm going to put the other ways because I've only got four islands. No. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've got to figure that thing out. Well, I guess I've got this, but I don't really want to make that thing up. That landed like an explosion then. No, oh, I know. It was particles. <laughs> wow, it was particles. I could, I mean, oh, wait, I'm going to drop some of those. I've mean, got a nice biome, but it can be weird when it rains, snowing in the never. Brilliant. Also, I've had pillagers here for pretty much the entire season and I have no idea where they are. I just know that they've been here and I can't get rid of them because I can't find them. And it's annoying. Also I didn't bring any food from the FK booth so I'm going to head back and get some. Let's just quickly swim up here and see if I can find them. No one here. I think they're like in the island or something. It's very, very strange where they are. Alright. <laughs> let me let me just quickly go grab my food from the AFK booth and I'll be right back with you guys. Hello right guys, I've got my food and we are heading back. And like I said, I want to make some sort of like lava river and like lava feature on the warped island. Just so I've got any thing. Maybe it won't be a river. It might be a river though, I don't know. But I definitely want someone to do with lava because this is never and what do you find in never? Lava! So yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Also I accidentally disapplied the clean glass extra pack, but it looks a bit better to be honest. I only did that for the glass one. Just because I want to see what it looked like. Because with the clean glass it gets rid of faithful texture. But it still looks epic. So I still really like it. It doesn't even matter. I didn't even care. Didn't care. Like, I'm not getting rid of borderless stained glass here. That that's what ties this entire like bubble rated together but it's pretty epic it's pretty mega guys i like i said i really like my base for this season probably, probably the biggest base i've ever done on a minecraft world and that's not even a joke there it is the biggest base i've ever done by i don't have any lava but that's fine because i can because i well i don't have any lava but i do have a never and seven buckets should do it. So let's quickly go pop into our nether and pick up some lava sources. Uh, I kind of don't want eight rockets in my hotbar, but at the same time, like, I mean, I'm not going to be flying that much, am I? Okay. Right. 
and it's going to be very quick picking up lava as well so I'll be safe I'll live and so I've got two totems in my inventory one in my hand so yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm safe doing this so right outside what isn't safe is this little pathway here no else is not safe gas Ugh. gas like the bane of my existence at the minute <laughs> it's so annoying in terrifying what it is it is a nice spot pick up some stuff there's a thousand in the minute one of which I just aggroed two of which I just aggroed I'm, I'm out of it I flew right through lava that's fine I'll be f I'll, I'll live got fire protection on a lot of things oh well, I really don't like the fact that I just aggroed that enderman Angroid? What? Is that even a word? That enderman is stupid. He just walked into the lava. That's not. What's wife That's not how you do it, sir. Oh god, he's. You're coming for me, aren't you? One, two, three, four. Uh, four, five. Six, seven, and fly. Run away, fly back to where you should be, back to safety. That really hurt. Set it in, I only took a half a half damage there. Right, seven buckets of lava run, and there's one spot I need to put a bucket. And that spot is a spot that I miss with the lava river. And it made it look slightly okay. You didn't miss it, you just took it because you needed it. Alright. So, let's fix this then. Right here, we place. And it should flow. And hopefully it feels in a bit better than it has done. There we go, it looks better now. That looks so much better. Okay, right, that's our lava done. Level river. Or a lava river, not the lava river. But you get, you get the idea. Alright. Let's sprint across this island. I should be fine. I don't think I'm going to get phantoms. I slept not too long ago. So, I kind of want to minimise the use of rockets as I'm running though. Is that a wandering trader? It is. That is a wandering trader. Oh no, it's just a wandering trader llama. I've got llamas everywhere in that base. <laughs> Alright. So, what we need is a place to put in our river. Get out of there. Alright, that's a, Maybe I do look a. It's quite steep the terrain here, so maybe I do sm something like more of a waterfall. Or. It wouldn't be waterfall, like lava fall sort of thing. I want to something there, I think. Gotta be on site. Oh, what do I need? I don't really need flint, do I? Who needs flint? No one needs flint. Flint is like literally one of the most useless items in the game. Like, if you don't. If you've got an infinity bone, then it's really useful. So, what we need. So we need this. I should definitely be using the shovel. But what is this gonna allow us to do is make a lava fall. Okay, yeah, that should be the name of the episode, the lava fall. So this will be coming out on the Friday that I return, by the way, this video. So I'm going away, hence one pre recording. So yes. Uh, right, I need a block there as well. So there you go, a lava fall can fit in there, it's quite big. Once it's a small thing. It's quite a cool little thing. And let's quite like sort of like a little ridge thing here just to guide it sort of like in. I kinda wanna just make a little base. Okay, right, this thing's for this twisted vines I thought you're gonna you might have to go, but Wait, no, it doesn't look like Oh, I, I knew that. I knew that happened. I thought I slept quite recently. Here, fella. Let's just terraform this slightly so that it won't, like, stick out that little ridge thing I put there. So, there you go. So, let's terraform quite enough. And I know I'm about to be attacked by phantoms again, but I don't know if less. Hi, phantoms. Are we, dis are we disapprove of you, phantoms? So, we need three buckets. That's a spider. He wants to be dead. There's his phantoms. That's a skeleton. He also wants to be dead. No, they're two skeletons fighting each other. I'll get music this channel. Should I attempt a music disc? Yes, I definitely should. My brain tells me that I should. So. Uh, is he falling in the water? 
he has. That's good. So we need to lure this guy back. Back up. Let's find out why I'll Come on, get back. Don't! No. Oh. Okay, luckily he was in water. Okay. Useless. We disapprove of these skeletons here. They're really annoying it. Also, is that. Yeah, I've got so much mobs here. This is the world's best mob farm. Well, like an unintentional mob farm, actually. But. Yeah. Alright. It has made stone on the water, unfortunately. But. Yeah, what you can do about it. Can't really do too much. Alright, let's see how our lava fall looks. Looking good. I'm going to extend it by a block. Let's see about that. I'm going to go extend this by a block. I'm gonna go extend our lava fall by a block here. Alright, our lava fall's been extended by a block then. So hopefully this looks pretty awesome. Let's take a look. Let's fly and take a look. So let's see how it looks. Yeah, looking pretty good actually. Lava fall there. Our twisting vines have unfortunately gone, but. Who needs to vines anyway? It's a bit, a bit of an old place for a twist and vines to be on. And oh, for goodness sake! Why are there so many mobs on this island? Alright, okay. I'm, I'm just gonna keep this in my mob farm. Like a very PvP based mob farm, right? PvE actually. Because it's player versus entity. Alright, anyway. That's that done. Okay, right, what do I do now? I don't know what to do now. I need to do something now. Uh, let's go. Let's go spice up the inside of my base then, I guess. So let's go organize this. Certainly. Like, I know I've got, I've got this slime farm here, and it's a bit annoying occasionally. So let's go and maybe breed off a sheep, decorate some rooms or something. I don't know. What I do have is I've, I've finished with the ancient debris basically. So you're going to judge me, but I'm going to use a bit of ancient debris to decorate with. And I'm going to place it here and here. How does that look? Yeah, it looks pretty good. It gives it like quite a nice feel. Right, nah. I'm going to use the ancient debris. I'll use two ancient debris. But only two. <laughs> All right. I could place it there, there. Nah. Actually, no. No ancient debris use. It's not used ancient debris. I don't know what to. I don't know what to use. I want to decorate this room, but I just got no idea what to use to do it. I need to use something. Oh, great! That's going down there, isn't it? Yep. And that's cobblestone, not stone. Oh, great! Right, I need to find somewhere. I've got no idea. Uh, let's cheat. Let's cheat and use that. So now we can head back up. So the shulker box is basically levitating. And it's a shulker box, not a shulker. Got to remember that. And there you go. At least we're not getting those horrible chunk updates at the minute. So yeah, there we go. So let's just quickly repair our things. If I just quickly... I do have something there, yeah. Let's just quickly go repair our items so like just not repaired yet I need to repair this so there we go I like just fully repaired okay so now I just need to repair this pick and it should be good with everything I guess this is absolutely cheating by the way although it's a bug like you find a bug which allows you to get unlimited XP, what you gonna do? You can't just not use it, can you? Alright. Anyway, we're down there. That's our that's a cool bug thing now. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna start to tear for my main base island, so sleep. I missed the entire night. Perfect. Alright. Let's head back up then. And we are going to get rid of a few things. Firstly, we're going to get rid of this crop farm over here. Secondly, we're going to get rid of this wall and this portal. And anything around here. 
I'm finally going to get rid of everything, this, every ugly thing here, which is a lot. So, yeah, it's going to be a big one. So let's start it. And I think there's a few carrots left here, but I don't really care. Oh, that's satisfying. For some reason, that's very satisfying to my. There we go. It's very easy to do and it's very useful as well. I just want to know where these pages are. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into a creative world, which is the backup, and go search for those guys. Because they are really annoying. I don't know, maybe I'll put it to Java or something and then go into spectator mode because why does bedrock bedrock not have spectator mode? Like we really should, don't you don't you agree? Oh come on. We need we need dummies ugly. Thing. This is just a really ugly thing around my base, and I do not like it whatsoever. Oh, I keep falling in. And by the way, guys, I've got mega. Who's that? Okay, this is a skeletal. I've got mega plants in my base, which I'll be doing soon. Like, probably not next episode, but the one after. I've got big plans to do. Right, that's the dirt gone. Now we're on the cobble. And it just, it's taking it so long. Like, I know I've got another white pickaxe, so I should be mining it quick, but. Ugh, stop falling! I really don't like falling. Yeah, the reason my pickaxe durability is so low was because they never, never whack grind. We also need, we need to do this. Do this thing here. We need to make our mushroom pen a, a, a lot better. Maybe even in our main base, I don't know. Okay, so many fish there as well. Like the updated cottons were like the best updates, I think. Ooh, head. Give me one of your heads. Trader. Uh -huh. ah. Don't know what's ah. What's that? There we go, we got him. We got the head. Alright, good. It's the only thing we need from the wandering traders. It's the only thing we're gonna get whenever they show up. Maybe they're leads as well. Lead leads are quite easy though to craft. Now once you've gone when you got an accident at slime farm. Then again you accidentally burnt loads of slime balls the other day. Well, I never went mining because my inventory was full and I didn't want to chuck anything out. Anyway, here we are. Just quickly mining a little bit more. So, here we go. Clean this area up now, pretty much. It looks a lot better. Uh, these artists will despawn if I sit here for like five minutes, so it's not going to stay like that. Do not worry. But now we've got a bit of this to do. And this wall should be quite easy to chop down with. I'll pull the air in this area for like five minutes. So then all these ugly items can despawn. Also, the mycelium is spread right through here. It's a bit weird. I, I kind of want obsidian. So I'm going to go grab some obsidian then. There you go. Hello? Enderman, where are you? Alright, just teleport in front of me there. Alright, fine then. So, this portal is going. It's not needed. I never needed it. Yeah, you did when you had the star base. Alright, yeah. But, now I don't need it whatsoever. It's ugly. It's gotta go. It's gotta go, my friends. It's gotta go. You know what else needs to go? This pathway here. Or leads to the part, the gap here. Actually, no, I could just, I could do that. There you go, that. That's a bit better now. I can't do that, unfortunately. But it does need to be a pathway here. So I pick that up. Uh, oh, hang on. I just quickly temporarily chuck that. Chuck that. No, look, you're going to advise against me doing that. Anyway, so it's a bit more cleaned up and polished now. 
Slightly, not much though. Uh, there's still a bit of wall here that needs to go. Okay, the only reason I have the wall is because I'm doing it. Hello. Why is the game is laggy? Jeez, it's laggy. There we go, right, we got rid of our wall. So this wall is now gone, it, we never needed it. Right, let, let's get rid of this little hill thing on top of my, my base, star base thing, yeah? Can't get rid of the back bit, because that's literally where the wall is, of my, like, ladder. Now, we dispose of that enderman now. Because, like, this thing, I could definitely make this a lot better, to be honest. This thing is ugly as hell, isn't it? And I know why it's very laggy. You probably know why as well. Or at least I know why. Well, I just hope there's no iron golems down there because they'll probably be mad at me. Because I think I killed a lot of villagers. At one point. Yeah, this is probably why. This is probably what it's causing lag. I'm not going to lie about that. Probably what's causing lag. Right. And I think we need to pull this up into the shopping district. In fact, let's head over there now. And I'll. <laughs> This is going to be useful to use that portal because it's coming out of there, but I mean, one rocket, two rockets. Okay, I've got no rockets now. And almost a death, okay. So that's pretty good. Oh, I can't get up here. I should be able to. I've got jump boost. Eh, whatever. Right, grab our final stack of rockets. It's our final stack. We've got more, don't worry. I just need to AFK the creeper farm for a long time. I'll just do that in the birdies. I need to AFK that for a long time. Alright, shopping district. Let's head over there. So, yeah. I don't know, maybe we, maybe we can make this never time look a bit better as well at some point. Like, I mean, maybe if I put like, wounded sort of like with warped... Uh, what's it called? What and crimson what? Well, it's just now what blocks. Hey, I don't know. Maybe up there. Maybe it'll look a bit better. That could look pretty good actually. But don't know about that. So yeah, here's our shopping district. And I mean, it, it's alright. I mean, we've got a portal. We've got uh, we've got our horse pens. We've got this shop here, which I never stocked. Should probably stock this. I've got loads of stuff here, like grass and this. All right, so this is this, uh, and my plans for it is to just make the path a lot better, put loads of fencing in, and just put sort of flower beds across it, making it look a lot better. Eventually, expanding over this area. And then what I would do is I'll build a bridge coming here. I'll just lay out pathways for everyone to build on because at the minute I think there's a bit of confusion about where to build. Hence why we've got no like real shops there. That reminds me, have we made diamond yet? Probably not. Don't have made any diamonds at the minute. Just because like no one's really been on that at the minute. Probably because of like the current situation of the world. But it's fine. I'm sure we will make at least a sale here. And like at uh, Rebella just the pain of Transporting that that thing, just that pain, that amount of pain. Ugh. What's our horses here? Do not touch. Yeah, they're breeding horses. All right. Anyway, I should not wear any chops. It's all head. Why should I have a head? I don't know why I should have a head. Let's pick up a head. Yeah. <laughs> I need to grind out a new bow at some point. Oh, nice. Um, I want it in there. I want it in there at the minute. Do we have... I need to fix this hole. And there's just so many things for me to do just to polish this thing up. Because, like, this never hub is nowhere near done yet. Like, okay, we've got our tunnels here. They are very useful. And I'm going to go pick up some more food quickly. And I need to build this tunnel out here. I know I said I'd do that, like, a long time ago. But I never got round to it. So I really go with it. Alright. So this is how I get my food. Go into the nether. Go through this portal. And we'll end up somewhere like a mission island. We'll be somewhere like a mission island. It will be in a mission island. So here's the mission island. And then go 
and then go find mushroom cows and murder them with a the fire aspect sword. Fire aspect looting free, power, not power, uh, sharpness, four. Although, to do this, that actually has to be mushrooms, which kind of lacking it at the minute. There we go. Here's a whole bunch of mushrooms. It's fully no, groups I found. No. I also get loads of level this way. No. Yeah, that's something that about the baby animals dropping loot. I can't move. Can't fix that. It's just a more pence pack, but it's just that. It's just a game being the game, really. No. Can't really fix it. And who knows? You might get a. You might get mushroom heads while doing this. No. So. No. Yeah. Why? Well, why not? Why wouldn't we do this, guys? It's free food. And yeah, it gives you a chance to get more heads. And heads are quite useful for showing off and flexing. Mm. Ow! This hurts. Nope. Come on. Head. No. Nope. Head. No. Nope. Head. No. Nope. Anyone want to give me a head? Head. Mm. Nope. Hmm. Doesn't work. Yeah, well, it does work. It's just, just very low drop weight because you can make mushroom farms really easy. Alright, so this is about where I'm going to end this episode probably, on this slightly grim note, of me killing all these mushrooms, but, okay, you guys are sat now, so I won't kill any more for the time being, mushrooms, you're safe for now, alright, so guys, let's just quickly try and do what I did in the last episode, and then going to end off the episode here, after we've done too much, I can just stuff up. Oh, when he walked out there, and that's the ghast, and no, we don't want that ghast to shoot. So, these are why I found to get back, is just not going through that hole, but flying to it, and then entering this door. That's the easiest way I found to get back. I should also install a door at the end, just so I get easy never access. But guys, that's probably going to be it for this episode then. Let's just quickly head through this portal. Oh wow, that was weird. Did not expect that. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you have enjoyed. Thanks. I will see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.